how to operate this computer system okay first of all there is a there is a MCB we have to put on that MCB when we put on then the light will be on and after that there is a on button on the screen then we have to put that button on then our machine will start it show the last what we have done on the machine this is the last um, uh, working condition of the machine so this this is the run button we can also run that machine from here and from the uh, from the button here this is the red, uh, green button it is for run and this one is for stop and the yellow one for inching for slow slow moving machine and then uh, after that is blue color uh, for the winder take down this is for take down winding so uh, whenever we uh, start the machine we can stop the machine uh, from any button so on the we are we came back to the computer and there is a run button and inching and stop button also available on the screen so there is a slow and fast button also this when we uh, there is any uh, yarn is not very good so we can uh, if there is any problem in the machine uh, or the yarn and uh, knit, give knitting uh, effect not uh, accurate then we can put that button on and the machine will uh, will uh, continue running slowly so when we put uh, the fast button uh, on then the machine will become fast so after there we have a button there there is a written a katai katai is the uh, button by which when we press this one then uh, the uh, machine start from its first course first knitting and uh, we can uh, use that button anywhere in our knitting position from the, when we put uh, put on that button then uh, the machine will come to the first course of the fabric so that is the back button and from here we can uh, exist from this running mode by when we press then we came to the main menu there is this is the main menu and there are run continue edit delete copy and test firstly we learn about continue when we uh, we we uh, we press the button two number then the machine continue from its last course where it was left so it was on the uh, 64 cores and the total is the 64 courses of the of this file and we have on uh, on third course machine is knitting third course so there is a file number this is the step number this is the total pieces which we want to make and there are 20 pieces uh, this means on the uh, knitted piece how much pieces are knitted now and this one is for stitch that stitch s is the number which we show we, we have shown to you on the strip of the carriage there was the eight numbers on the carriage and when we put that number in that uh, that s then the carriage came to that knitting position this is the yarn there are two point four yarn now there is a th three number yarn is working on the machine and this one is a uh, speed of finder speed of take down take down speed is now is two and last uh, error of the machine last error we uh, stop that machine by pushing push button so there is a p okay then this is the speed of the machine now how much spe uh, speed does this machine is running on 
सो दिस इज द फर्स्ट कोर्सेज ऑफ द मशीन दैन फर्स्ट ऑन फर्स्ट कोर्सेज इट्स रन स्लोली एंड इट्स स्लो बी स्लो स्पीड इज थर्टी एंड द हाई स्पीड इज सिक्सटी सो वैन वी आर ऑन द प्लेन एटिंग दैन देर विल बी द स्पीड शो ऑन फिफ्टी और सिक्सटी दिस इज फॉर द रैकिंग लेफ्ट साइड रैकिंग और राइट साइड साइड रैकिंग नाउ दिस मशीन इज इन द स्टॉप्ड पोजिशन सो दिस इज इट्स करंट पोजिशन इज शोन ऑन दैट वे सो दिस इज द स्क्रीन एंड वी अगेन पुश दैट बैक बटन एंड वी केम टू द मेन मीनू नाउ इन मेन मीनू देर इज ए रन बटन and continue editing the lead copy and test test we should not uh, uh, run the test mode any uh, in your uh, in your machine because it is for the manufacturer okay you only have to use these five functions now we have to edit the edit the file first press three number Added file number. So it uh, give you the file number which you already run. So you have to make another new one. Then we you have to put that number in that way. There is a cursor. You can move that cursor from these arrows. These two arrows can move these cursor, this blink cursor from once to uh, left to right, left to right. Now added file number. Now we are editing file number ten. put zero on the tool now we can also move we can also move only with these arrows okay then after that we have to pu push the enter button or oh, now file number is 10 step number is 1 there is a not anything in that file now this file is empty so we have to put according to our design we have to put the data according to our design firstly there is a stitch we have to put the stitch yarn find winder speed and repeats how many repeats we want to make that fabric that yarn or that fabric so these are the editing position of the machine so first of all we have to put the four number four number is a plane for plane knitting we have to knit the plane knitting firstly after that we will uh, make the separation and then we knit the collar length so firstly we should uh, place their plane knitting plane knitting yarn which yarn we should uh, use for the plane knitting for plane knitting we always use one or six number yarn no the, if there is a yarn uh, feed in your one or six uh, number feeder then we have to put that number here if uh, now the, on our machine there is a six number feeder is uh, is feeding with the yarn so we have to put there six number this uh, one always remain zero there is nothing to do with that point so after that winder is to Two is the speed of winding, and after the speed of the machine, we have to put the minimum speed thirty there. And after that, we save that step by downward these button. So when we downward the step change automatically to the two number. So now we put here two stitch two. So that step move to the two number. two number position so two number position is for round uh, circular fabric so we have to put the circular fabric uh, because uh, if we make the separation then the uh, circular fabric uh, prevent the fabric to come down way or by this we can save our uh, our knitted fabric from drop on, drop on so here we put the yarn again six number and winder is to speed 30 and these uh, these 
by cur moving cursing we can go anywhere by this way or this way there will be two repeats of that two two number step two stitch two repeats of that function after that we have to save that by pressing that button and now that is file number 10 step number 3 now what to do to the machine now machine will again make the plain yarn on the fabric so now yarn 6 winder 2 speed 30 and save by pressing this now there is a four number step now we will make a separation course separation course where we can separate two pieces for making uh, a individual color so stitch six for the separation this is for the separation on the separation we don't put any yarn here so the yarn will not uh, coming out so it will make only uh, it will uh, take down the fabric from one side of the machine six number zero zero two and again slow speed after that we have to make the welt welt is the first course of the collar first call of the uh, first course so welt is on one number stitch so we have to put the collar uh, put the yarn that we want to make the collar first uh, if we want to make the red collar or brown or anything on the welt then we uh, should uh, uh, feed that yarn into your feeder number and uh, the, the put the feeder number here if uh, now there is a there is a um, navy color on the three number feeder then we put the three number here so now the yarn will be changed from six to three and winder again to speed is 30 after that we have to put some round uh, circular fabric for making the uh, finishing of the uh, edge of the collar so to put two yarn again three or you can change that yarn for four five four first uh, color first line welt will be another color and second will be another one it can be changed by changing the yarn you can wind winder two and speed is 30 and you can make the two or three or three code repeated of that three repeat machine will move three times for this knitting and after that we you save that okay after that we can make the plain fabric on it or plain four yarn is three winder is two repeat is 30 uh, speed is 30 and again save step, step number 8 stitch is 4 yarn is 3 winder is 2 and speed is 60 you can put the 60 here now these will how much length you want to make of the fabric if you want to 40 courses then put 40 courses and if you want to add it then the length of the machine uh, length of the fabric then or collar you can put that uh, do you can change that figure 50 it will make larger 60 40 30 if you may make 30 it will be uh, shorter one so put that one and make save that by pressing this downward arrow so now came back and now one run the run file number 10 enter piece how many pieces you want to make on it you can add it one piece enter knitted 0 0 0 0 enter now machine will make only one piece and after that it will stop automatically 
okay there is a 40 courses total of that fabric and now you can make the fabric if you want to uh, make stripes of different colors then you have to you have to go to the where we put the 60 number speed 60 number speed is on now that is the step 8 number step there is 60 number speed if we want to make 5 uh, 5 uh, courses uh, step of 2 color then we put 5 here for 3 number yarn again for on the uh, another step save that step and after that on another step you have to put 4 number color another color firstly we put the 3 number color which was the uh, navy one and on 4 there is a red color so we can put a red color here 4 number or any color you can use on that feeder not only red you can use yellow green anywhere and winder is here speed 60 you can make 5 now it will knit 5 courses of navy color and 5 courses of red color so by doing this you can make many stripes of different uh, width of the stripes so these are the editing of the file Okay, thank you.